friends it's Annie from Vintage Lace Journal and I'm back today with another little make for you this is a book page make um, so one of those really great projects is going to be to use up all those book pages we've got hanging around um, but before I start I want to give a quick shout out because there's lots of people um, that leave comments on my channel and I've noticed recently there's um, quite a few people that are regular at leaving comments thank you so much so I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to um, Black Coffee Wildflowers to Kimberly, I think it's, I can't read my own writing now, uh, Kimberly Mabby or maybe Malloy, Kimberly Malloy, uh, Maria Yohei, Christine Skinner, The Moon Journal ASMR and Fiola Chapman. And there's lots more of you that do leave comments, but I've noticed that these um, people are regular commenters and it's just really lovely to um, get your feedback on my projects and hear that you're crafting along or you're making things that I've made. So big thank you to you, but everyone else who's obviously ever left me a comment or a like. OK, so let's have a look at this project today. Super simple. Um, I'm going to be decorating this with the All, Thing Ro All Things Roses kit from the Junk Journal Studio because um, I've got absolutely masses left over. I've die cut it. Uh, sorry, I've cut it all out and um, fussy cut a lot of it out. Um, and I just love it. I just absolutely love the All Things Roses kit. Um, that's from the Junk Journal Studio. This is a design team project member for them. Um, and I'll link the kit below from the Etsy channel. OK, so all we need for this is a book pages and the pocket is made from um, tracing paper. This isn't vellum. We can use vellum. I didn't have vellum. I used tracing paper when I used to do um, a calligraphy course. Um, so I've used that and I have just stitched around there. Obviously, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue that on. And then you made a little pocket there. And then on the back, I've just used the roses kit. Um, Suck the rose down just in one corner and created another pocket on the back. And then one of the little um, cards, which look like this, I've just turned over and made it into a tab. Um, and as you can see, they're super easy to make. Nice and thick because we're going to fold it over and glue it. Um, and they think they look really, really effective. So let's get on with our making. So I'm going to ruin a Charles Dickens novel. Now this measures, um, for anybody who wants to know, five inches by just over seven and a half, probably seven and three quarters. However, um, it's not going to stay that size. So all I do is go into this and I take two pages at a time. And as you can see, this is quite a yellowed book. It's very old. Um, obviously got this from a charity shop. It wasn't being loved anybody. So this was printed in 1995. Um, yes, yeah, so it's nearly 30 years old. So go in at the spine and just tear your two pages out. I'm going to pop that to the side. Now I'm just going to bring my trigger in. And all I did with this was straighten up that dodgy edge where I've ripped it out. So just pop that on your trimmer. And just get rid of that edge. And I just got rid of a little bit of that um, page without the text. Just a tiny bit. Just to tidy it up. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is bring in a trusty old glue stick. This is just a bog standard glue stick from our local um, Wilco's, which is now shut down. And I'm going to glue these two pieces of paper together. Okay, so back to back. So edges first, make sure you go all the way around those edges. And you only need to do one of these because you're going to stick one on top of the other up and down to make sure it's all covered in glue. I remember what I did last time. I actually stuck them together before I trimmed them and then trimmed them together just to get a straighter edge. But luckily that's gone on quite straight. Okay, and then I'm going to do a fold top to bottom like that. And I'm just going to glue that again. And that gives you four layers of a book page which obviously makes that nice and sturdy. There we go. So when that's dried, and obviously I'm not going to let this dry, I'm going to try and show you straight away. I'm going to corner around corners. Oh, we're okay. It doesn't usually cut very well if it's still wet. There we go. And next step distress ink so I'm using vintage photo distress ink um, I'm actually going to get a re of this it's getting a bit um, not as good as it was this is obviously a very old book page so it does suck up ink a little bit which is nice 
I'm just going to go around all of those edges back and front with the brown ink. This is still a, a bit pliable because it's still a little bit damp. As you can see, it's not overly inking, but it'll do. You know what I'm doing, do you know what I mean? I saw someone spray them with water, but I'm not sure whether spraying distress inks will actually do them more harm than good. So I haven't, haven't done that. Okay, so there we have our book page. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is come in, like I said, with some tracing paper. Now, this is uh, 63 GSM. There's 23 sheets in here. I think I got this off Amazon. Um, but again, you can use vellum if you wanted to. And I just came in with my vellum sheet. And I'm just going to go down here. And it does for tear. You get a strip. And then across the end just tear and it gives that kind of raggedy look and again just bringing in my ink I love the sound just going backwards and forwards on that rough edge to create that inked edge and you only need to do this on one side there's a straight edge here but I'm not fussed about that I'll probably put that at the bottom of the page there we go so if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue around the edge. One tip I will give you if you're using glue is to um, run a bead of glue. I'll actually show you. Run a bead of glue where you're going to put it and then smudge it with your finger. Otherwise, you get this bead of glue showing through. So smudge it with your finger. So you can't really see that glue anymore. And when you stick it down... can't see a bead of glue at all okay so if you're not using a sewing machine then obviously do it this way so bead of glue smudge it with your finger I'll just do this bottom edge while I'm here you'll obviously take more time than I will okay give it a good old smudge and then you won't have any glue showing at all so top tip there for you um, if you were going to sew then obviously this is the time to take it to the sewing machine. And I just did a brown bead of sewing through there. Now, next thing is to get hold of our lovely kit. So I've got all this stuff over here and I'm going to start creating and decorating with it. So the first thing I'm going to do like I did before is I'm going to create a um, tab at the top. So I'm just going to use one of these. This is like a label plate, but actually it makes quite a nice tab it's got that nice fussy edge okay so fold that in half and um, if you bought the all things roses kit this is a lovely way to keep using all your stash i just love it absolutely love it so pop one that side there don't go all the way up to your fold because obviously you want that tab to be sitting above your project okay and i'm just going to hold that just so that takes. And we have our little tab at the top. Then down on his pockets, I think I'm going to come in with some of these beautiful flowers. So choose that one. Now because these are printed on white paper, I'm just going to come along with my brown ink again and just go around the edges. Just to lift that off the page. And pop that in the corner. These look really effective in your junk journals. Um, you could attach them with um, a paper clip or um, you could double them up together and make a double page spread. So you could attach them there and put one side one of the page and one side of the other. Possibilities are limitless. Right, I'm going to put a little ticket on this one, I think. I'm going to go with a pink ticket that way and these are just printed out onto um i print tags and tickets onto 160 gsm that way, that way. 
Um, but everything else I print onto, this is all I'm actually on, anything I'm going to cut, fussy cut like this is 160 GSM. Anything like the papers, um, the backing papers, I just print onto um, copy paper. There we go. So that's my front pocket there. Um, now I've also got these lovely words. If you remember, this comes with a kit. Let me look what we've got. I like to put a little delicate rose there. And again, I'm just going to ink the edges. And put that one there. And then I want something here. There was some, um, ah, there we go lovely stamps pop that in the corner so there we go nice and super simple that's the front done so I'm just going to find something to pop in there so we've got these lovely little cards I just wonder if that might be a bit too tall I'm just going to choose a smaller one I could use as a German card it's just on plain paper at the back and I'm going to pop, where have I put those? There they are. These little, I think they're called tea cards, cigarette cards, things like that. So on the back, again, we've got the plain text. Now, because I kept the text the right way up this side, it's upside down on this side, which is fine. Because we're now going to have a little go at covering some of that. So I'm going to use one of these little cutouts again as a pocket so I'm going to just glue that on this one edge here it's amazing what you can use as a pocket and just pop that down there to cover some of that sewing up I'm getting better at the sewing machine learning through trial and error and then again just pop a little couple of cards in there and I just want something down the bottom here. I think I might use just gonna keep in with the pink theme. Little label there. And then another little statement at the top. This one says wild roses. Just to cover up as much of that text as we can. So there, super simple, super easy book page pocket. So I'm going to do another one just to show you a different way of doing it. Just remembered how I did it the first time. Um, so yeah, that's one. This one I did it the other way around. Um, so this was quite a blank book page, which is fine. Uses up your stash. Put the little tickets on the back, but I did it that way up, put the pocket on that way rather than that way. So two different pockets. So I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. The other way I did it was exactly the same. So get your two pages together. And again, glue them. So all the way round, edge first, and then up and down the middle. Just always remember to have a quick scan of your text to make sure there's no inappropriate language, especially if you're selling things. You never want your customers complaining that they saw a f bomb or something in your text. Okay, so what I did, I remember now, is I glued them together like this, and. So fold it in half. Just made the edges a bit neater, a different way, but it, either way is fine. I usually forget what day it is, yet alone what I did yesterday. It comes with age. So I always do the line, um, the edges that meet together there, and then go up 
so any air bubbles can come out. You can also use, I see people using um, store cards. Just give it a, give a rub. Okay, so back in. So this time I'm cutting it once it's folded. So again, just be aware what kind of trimmer you're using because I've now got a super duper um, guillotine. If you're using a blade, sometimes it doesn't like going through wet glue. So just be a bit more mindful if you're doing that. So just straightening up those edges once it's glued. So either way, both get the same effect. Okay, then around those corners. You don't have to round the corners again, it's personal preference. And do you know what? I'm going to go with a different colour ink just to see what it looks like. I'm going to choose a pink ink. Actually, no, I'm not going to choose green just to see what kind of effect it gives because obviously a lot of the um, all things roses has foliage on it obviously you need to let your pages dry probably before you do this i would mass make a load of these first and then go in with the um stitching by which time you know you're, you're giving your paper a bit of time to dry I quite like that effect. Yeah, play around with the inks. I might do a pink one as well. Ooh, just about that. There you go. Just sometimes comes away from brown. I think I use an awful lot of brown when I'm inking edges and things, so just something a bit different. Mix it up. There we go. Right, so I'm having that side down. I'm going to come back in with my... Give it a hold of it. Then. And... Tear that pocket. And again, use the green ink. I said to myself, one of these days I'm going to make a really bright, garish project. No brown in sight, no book pages in sight, something really different. Okay, so that bead of glue, smudge it in, and stick it on. Okay, so that's our lovely little pocket. I'm just going to put my lid on these glues because I do go um, hard quite quickly. Okay, so let's have a zoom in. I quite like that colour. It just makes it look very different. Okay, let's have a look. This time we shall use... So I think I might use... I'm just trying to think, be aware of your pocket being there. Nothing looks kind of like going to go over the edge of it. It's way too big, but I might use that on the back. Nope, too big. There's so much choice though in here. It's not like um, I haven't got much to choose from. That's quite cute. Yeah, I like that. I am going to brown this one though. Just get rid of that stark whiteness. Okay, I'm going to lay, do some layer underneath here. play around really quite like that so stick this one on first it doesn't matter if it comes off the side of your pocket you just can't go above the top and the yellows and greens go quite well together It's nice to just play with a little kit, layering things up, thinking about what colours go together. And until you stick it down, nothing's fine. You can always, and even if you stick it down and you don't like it, you can cover it up. 
There you go, like a little mini collage on the front of there. So I'm going to have a little yellow tea dye card in there. And what else should we have? Like a little yellow, yellow ticket. Something at the corner. I'm going to tie the pink in up there with the pink here. Again, that obviously covers some more of those words up. There we go. I'm not going to put a tab on this one, I'm going to do it slightly different. And on the back, I am going to use a tab as another pocket. And I'm just going to glue th uh, three of the edges, two short ones and the long one. Try and level it up so it's the same either side. Just give that slight push, just like make that pop go out just a little bit. There we go. Put a rose on there as well. Love that yellow rose. Excuse me. Another little ticket. Just there. There we go. And these lovely words is there. The rose is perfect at every moment. And this is in the kind of like neutral colour that comes with the kit. So I'm just going to green edge that to link in with the rest of it. Again, just pop in some of those little beautiful cards. It's a nice yellow. And I'm going to go with a, a pink. And there we go, another pocket done. So these are super, super quick to make. Um, you could obviously put little gift cards in here or all sorts of things. So if I just show you the ones I've made in these 20 minutes. So I made this one and this one. And then this one, which was the other way around, just made this off before we came on camera. So there we go. All Things Roses. I'll link the kit below. And these are, what should we call these? Book page vellum pockets. Book page pockets. I don't know. Whatever you want. Um, also going to sell these. If you wanted to put these in a journal, all I would do is, with your page, uh, in your book page, obviously you can just clip it on there. And it will hold with a nice big paper clip. So there we go. Well, I hope you have fun making those. If you want to like and leave a comment below, please do. And I'll always reply back to you. So have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you again soon. Bye, friends.